Hi internet friends, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. Follow along with me today. I'm going to try to make this roof uh, plan with using a combination of automatic roofs and some manually adjusted roofs. So follow along. Let's get started. So let's start out with looking at our model here. I have the floor and uh, ceiling heights set up where I want them. Um, we've got this porch out front, um, got the unit one. This is a this is a rental situation. Um, what I also did was I set up this unit in the back, unit two, these attic rooms are set up to have a three inch uh, ceiling height. So what that does is, as you can see here, I've got my floor joist running all the way out to the edge of first floor, and then I'll put two plates so that my uh, rafters can sit on that. Next, I will set all of my gable walls. Actually, I already did set my gable walls, so I select this wall, shift, select, shift, select, all through here. These are not gable walls until I get to the second floor. So quickly, uh, by default, they are, walls are um, hip walls, so I've just changed it. I will use I've shift selected all of the walls and I will use this child tool down here to change to gable wall. Alternatively, you could open them. I'm going to use command E on my keyboard. I'm on a Mac. So if you're on a PC, it's control E and go to roof. You open up the wall specification, go to roof uh, pane, the roof panel and uh, select full gable wall. By default, it's on hip. I'm just going to select full gable wall. Let's go up to second floor and do the same. These two walls uh, are already gable walls. If if they were hip walls or something else, this would show um, it would show the gable option. So I'm just going to click on the gable option. Now I could change it back to hip, but I don't want to. And then these two walls are. This is going to be a shed dormer right here, so I want that to be a gable as well, and that's fine. Um, let's see, that's a gable, that's a... Yeah, so I think I think we're good here. I've gone ahead and I'm gonna double click on the build roof tool, and that pulls up my uh, roof defaults. I've set up the structure, two by eight, 16 on center. I've given the box eaves. Um, the gutter size I want, etc., etc. Um, I'm not using trusses, so that's unchecked, and automatic bird's mouth is fine. I'm going to go ahead and build roof planes. So I'm going to get Chief to automatically build as much as I can, and then come back and manually edit what's necessary. So let's see how this goes. Oh, before I do that, let's undo one. Um, I'm also set these walls here. I'm going to shift click on these walls and open those and go into my roof tab. These are going to be a 12 12 pitch. And then I'm ready to do my automatic roof build planes, click OK. The walls may re be, ooh, the wall layers may be reversed at this location on floor two. Normally the layers appearing at the top in the layer diagram in the wall specification dialog box should be toward what appears to be a partial attic area toward for a one and a half story house. Select the wall layers and click on the reverse edit to correct, reverse layers to correct, okay. So, uh, 
so what it's saying is um, where when I select on this wall this red handle here is the what's considered the exterior of the wall what chief considers the exterior and that's on the inside um, of this uh, room here so chief is saying reverse the layers by switching this uh, using this um, icon so now it, this is on the attic side same thing here chief just kind of is getting confused by that so let's flip that let's flip that and I don't know if it changes anything when doing this rebuild roof um, since I haven't edited anything it's going to um, just rebuild it, it may change something it may not we'll see what happens if the very low ceiling on one side is a partial attic area for a one and a half story house then the layers may be reversed for this wall right there well I'm not going to worry too much about that let's take a I know something's way off here but we'll take a 3d view just see what happens oh, I missed 112 uh, that's fine so let's change this this needs to be 12 oh, that is 12 okay I'm not sure why I've got that down here on but we can delete that let's go up to second floor and clean up this stuff here now I'm gonna go into my uh, roof mode by clicking Q on my keyboard that's my roof um, hotkey and I'm just gonna shift select I don't want to select all of that so let's uh, that's an interesting shape I'm gonna modify this roof shape so that it just isn't everything here I'm gonna pull it to a normal shape I guess if you will and I'm gonna pull this one down this way and then I'm gonna use this tool down here to simplify the polyline you see I should have just four uh, segments for, to make this rectangle but as you can see by these diamond handles I've got quite a few breaks in those segments and just to get it back to four segments chief has implemented this simplify polyline command when I click that when these segments are all in a straight line it will simplify that down as much as it can that's fantastic for that surface I'm gonna delete these surfaces and last but not least we'll delete these I'm sure I could have set up the wall situation specifications differently but um, I'm not right off the top of my head I don't know what they are so I'm just going to manually adjust these here and then I'm going to break this roof plane by hitting the number three on my keyboard and break that edge bring it down here one more time break along this wall and bring it down here now as you can see this if I were to pull that like manually pull it like that it will uh, remain there but I'm just going to pull this to the edge of the wall okay so this is what I call the laser pointer chief infers the intersection between two um, roof plane so this roof plane here the big one is at 12 12 pitch and this little one here is at a 5 12 pitch and different plate heights first of all let's double check our plate heights make sure they're correct and before I do that this one's gonna have these two roof planes are gonna have to be 2 by 12 um, rafters for insulation value because there's a sloped ceiling 
Oops, 11 and a quarter. And let's check this. So there's my three inches. I'm just drawing a, a polyline and down here on the bottom of my screen I can see how long that polyline is without letting go of the mouse. And then I'm going to zoom in here up to here is 3 and 13 sixteenths. So those need to come down 13 sixteenths. I'm going to select both of these and transform replicate. Move in the Z deltas, which is up and down from the floor, a negative 13 sixteenths. Now my rafter hits that plate where it should. And let's just verify the rafter is definitely 11 and a quarter. Fantastic. We can close this elevation. Now I'm going to use the inference of the, um, I think I already know the answer, but I'm just going to make Chief do this. And for sake of demonstration, I'm going to select the target um, roof surface. This is where this 512, this is the roof surface on which the 512 pitch should land. So I selected the 1212, and then I'm going to select this line that will that should intersect with the 1212 pitch. This line of this segment of the 512 roof. When you have the temporary intersection points turned on in Chief in your preferences, this X, this temporary X, is where they would intersect. Now, because it's to the other opposite side of the ridge, that means this would be higher than this ridge here. So I don't want that. I'm going to manually drag this roof surface, this 512 roof surface, to the ridge so that this is the geometry that I want. And then I'm going to copy the ridge plate, the ridge top height uh, from the 1212, the 267 and 3 sixteenths. And I'm going to lock the pitch, the 512, and I'm going to just manually force the ridge height to be that paste, 267 and 316. Now let's take a rendering. That's perfect. I do believe that's what we want. Let's check the first floor plan. Let's check this again, just for sure here. That looks good right up in here. It's going to be a tricky detail to build, but I'm sure they can get it. This created the valley. That's fine. We still have the rafters bearing, coming down and bearing on the wall. That's fine. We've got our birds' nests, our eaves, our rakes, etc., all set where they need to be. Then lastly, I'm just going to put the ceiling heights where they should be. I set the ceiling heights so that I'd have the proper plates there. Uh, let's just open this. And we're going to set the rough ceiling back to the default. on each of these floors here. I could also select this room and do my select same ceiling elevation and load same into each of these rooms that are white. And take my section so that we see that it looks proper. There we go. All set. All right, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. Thanks so much for watching today. If you like and um, appreciate this information, if you learned something, please give a like down there and subscribe, and you'll get notified every time I upload a video. Thanks so much. Take care. Have a great week.